Receiving and inspecting the table system. After receiving your table system, carefully inspect the table crates for any shipment damage or mishandling and document any potential issues with notes and photos. Newport table crates are specially designed to protect the contents even if the crate is cosmetically damaged or mishandled. If the crate will be in storage before installation, be certain it is protected from harsh environments. Use proper lifting and maneuvering techniques to move the table to its unpacking location. This includes lifting the crate from the bottom and only pushing against designated areas when necessary. Under no circumstances should you attempt to use a forklift or other blunt tool to push or lift the crate along its sidewall or top as this may result in damage to the table. Also inspect isolator or support leg packaging for damage. It is recommended that the support legs be moved to the installation location first so they can be set up to support table sections during assembly. Be sure to contact your facilities team to plan for the receipt and installation of your table system, depending on the size of the table lab accessibility and facility capabilities, you may need to consult with an equipment moving company to assist with installation. Contact Newport for references to reliable equipment movers if needed. Unpacking the Table System Optical table crates are constructed of a bottom skid and reinforced cover bonnet. To remove the top bonnet, use a power tool to remove the fasteners located around the bottom perimeter of the bonnet. After the fasteners are removed, the bonnet can be carefully lifted off the bottom skid. Be sure to use safe lifting techniques and wear gloves when removing the bonnet and safely store bonnet away from the table installation area. Using a forklift or pallet jack positioned under the skid, slowly lift the skid approximately 6 inches off the ground. Carefully use your foot or have an assistant help press down on one end of the skid to safely create a space between the table and skid and place 2x4s or other reliable spacers within that space. Repeat this on the other sides. This is used to distance the table from the skid to properly lift the table. If the table section and skid are too small to allow for bending of the skid, you may need to manually push the table off the skid several inches to allow lifting forks to lift the bottom of one corner of the table to create access to insert spacer blocks. Under no circumstances should you attempt to use a forklift or other blunt tool to push or lift the table along its sidewall or top skin, as this may result in damage to the table. Slowly lower the skid back to the floor and remove protective wrapping around the table. Carefully position lift forks underneath the table to safely lift the table off the skid and move to the installation area. If the final installation location is not accessible using standard lifting equipment, you may need to consult with a qualified equipment mover. Only qualified and equipped technicians should attempt to flip tables upright, and in those situations, tables should be uniformly supported along the edges of their top and bottom steel skin. Setting up the base unit. Refer to Newport's isolator or leg assembly instructions to set up one section of the doubler system to serve as the base unit. It is recommended to use a minimum of four legs to support the base unit initially, and if necessary, relocate the other support legs after final table assembly. Be sure to properly install the leg system so the table and legs are both level. Newport isolators feature a compliant ring along the bottom to compensate for minor irregularities in floor flatness. In some installations, additional measures like shims or grout may be needed to correct for gross irregularities. If you are using air-filled isolators, do not float the system until the entire table system assembly is complete. It is also recommended that you adjust the height of the base unit legs to its midpoint to allow the next section enough adjustability for both sections to become level. Preparing the table sections for assembly. Before moving the other table section into position, Carefully inspect all doubler plate surfaces, bolts, alignment pins, and tapped holes for any signs of damage, deformation, or debris that may interfere with assembly. Newport doubler plates are matched sets that are fastened together during the table construction process to assure that they mate together during final assembly. 
Also be certain that the matched sets are being assembled correctly for multi-section table systems. Contact Newport if there are any components that may look damaged for repair instructions. Refer to the recommended bolt torque sequence in the installation guide and if needed note the recommended sequence on the table surfaces using a pencil prior to joining the sections. This will help guide the order in which the bolts should be torqued after initial hand tightening to ensure uniform mating and reduce the risk of improper alignment. Position the set of table isolators or legs near their final installation position to temporarily support the table section. It is recommended that this set of legs also be adjusted to slightly below their mid-height position to allow adequate height adjustment range for final system leveling. Using a mobile lift, Carefully locate the other table section in front of the base section, paying special attention to aligning the dowel pins to their mating holes in the doubler plates. Next, locate a set of adjustable rolling supports to help level and support the table section during assembly, which will also allow the bolts to pull the table sections together easily. Carefully move the two sections close enough so they can be leveled and aligned to allow the guide pins and bolts to mate to their respective holes. It is recommended to use a 48 inch or longer level across the joint to assure both table sections are at equal heights and level.